Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. In this video, I'll show you how you can transfer your data to your new Galaxy smartphone. Now this can be easily done from an iPhone to Samsung or it can be a Google Pixel device or any other Android device to Samsung. All you need to do is you have to download the application Smart Switch. Now I must comment that Samsung has really made it easy for the users for their data transfer between devices. So whenever you're switching your phones from Samsung to any other smartphone, it's so easy now to transfer your data from Samsung to Samsung or it can be an iPhone to Samsung. To do this data transfer, all you need is Wi-Fi and the smart switch application on both your devices. Now for this video, I will transfer the data between my Galaxy Note 10 Plus to Galaxy Note 8. Now to do so, I need to install smart switch application on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And for Galaxy Note 8, because I have reset everything, you can see I haven't even logged into my Play Store. Now Samsung has really made it so easy to install smart switch on your Galaxy. Just you need to go to the settings and below the account settings, you will find smart switch application. Click over here to download it. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. So I'm in the transfer page now. Now let's open smart switch on Galaxy Note 10 Plus also. So as you can see, both the smartphones have smart switch installed. Now before I start the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to see more tech videos in the future. Also share this video to your friends and family and give a thumbs up to this video if you like it. I will really appreciate it. Now coming back to this video, this application works like a charm. It's quite similar to how you have your iPhone backed up and synced with any other iPhone or any other iOS device. I have lots of application installed on my Galaxy Note 10. I have loads of messages. I have my call logs, my contacts. Now all these will be transferred to my new device, which is the Galaxy Note 8, which is almost empty now, just with the basic applications. So there is no contacts. There is no messages. Even the Play Store has not been installed, but to install all the applications on my Galaxy Note 8, I would need to install the Play Store, but I can do it later on. I have almost 47 GB free and 16 GB is used for the system applications. So this is the device I need to transfer all the data. Now let's go to the Smart Switch application and start the proceedings. Now both the smartphones have the same Wi-Fi. So this is the receiving device. So we click on the receiving data. So it gives you an option. You can choose if it's a Galaxy or an Android device. If you're transferring data from iPhone or iPad, even if you have a Windows smartphone. So click on Galaxy. Now it gives you two options. You can either connect via cable or wireless. Now definitely when you connect by cable, the data transfer rate will be slightly faster than the wireless, but wireless is more convenient for everyone. Click on wireless and click on send data over here. Again, click on wireless. Now both the smartphone will try to connect with each other. Allow new connection, click on allow. So as you can see now, both the devices are connected. On the device, we have 47 GB of storage left. So it's giving all the details, what all you can transfer and also how much data it will consume. So you have your Google accounts, calls, contacts, messages, applications, settings, home screen settings, images, videos. I have 26 GB of videos, audio documents. And also if I want to transfer the SD card storage, on this device, but I think this device has a less storage, so I would skip this. But in case if you have a device with 256 GB or 128 GB of storage, you can transfer all the data. You can also go deep into it and further choose the things, for example, in applications. Any application you don't want on your new device, you can just uncheck it. So I'm not choosing my SD card because it will go more than the storage of the device. This is what is my selection. But according to your usage and your need, you can do your selection. After choosing your selection, you can click on transfer. Now it's copying your accounts to your new device. Since I did not have Play Store installed, I can just log into my account for the applications to get loaded. So after signing in all my Gmail accounts, the data transfer starts. So it also gives you a heads up that how much time it will take for the complete data to transfer. As I said before, if you're doing by wire, which is like a USB connection, the transfer rate might be slightly faster than the wireless one. It also gives you an option. You can keep your screen on, on both the smartphones. So you can monitor it from a remote distance, but if you want, you can turn it off to save some battery. But for the video's sake, I will keep it on so that it doesn't switch off and I will run through the process. 
So finally, all the data has been transferred from my Galaxy Note 10 Plus to the Galaxy Note 8. Now I can close the screen of Galaxy Note 10 Plus and go to the home screen of Galaxy Note 8. But even after the transferring of data, it will still take time to download everything from the server, your messages, contacts, photos, videos, call logs, files and folders and everything. So again, you need to wait for a while for everything to be downloaded, but for sure it will be done in a while. And after everything has been downloaded, it will be an exact copy paste of my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is exactly what I'm looking for when you're transferring the data. Now, the most important thing over here is everything can be transferred except for your WhatsApp chats and data. Between Android to Android is much easier than iPhone to Android because Apple has their own restrictive security base and they don't allow any WhatsApp chat to be transferred to Android. But between Android to Android is much more easier. To do the WhatsApp backup, you need to click on WhatsApp, go to the settings, go to chats and click on chat backup. I have already taken the backup, but you can take the backup again. So my backup was almost around 700 MB, which is quite a big file. So after taking the WhatsApp backup, you can go to your new device and install WhatsApp. When you're signing into your WhatsApp by your number, it will give you an option to restore your backup. So you can restore all your backup. So after restoring your WhatsApp backup, it will be just like copy paste of old device. So this is how you can restore your new device to your factory setting of your old device in a very easy manner because of this amazing application called Smart Switch. So all set, everything has been transferred. As I said before regarding the WhatsApp, you need to back up your chat history on your old phone. Also, you can sync your Samsung account. I'll click on done. And as I was expecting, all my applications are here now. Some of them are still downloading. Let's see my call logs. So all my recent calls. And all my messages are here. Let's check my gallery. So all my photos are right here. Now this was done on an Android device. Now I'm sure a lot of you must be curious to know how you can do the same between a Samsung to iPhone or iPhone to Samsung. So yes, indeed, transferring data between Samsung to Samsung or Samsung to an Android device is much more easier. When we talk about Samsung to iPhone, it's slightly more complex, but there is a way out, again, by using the same application Smart Switch. But for some reason, Apple does not allow this application in their App Store. So there is a second way around. You can transfer all your iPhone data to your Samsung account or your new Galaxy device with an iCloud. But most of us are using 5 GB of storage in iCloud and usually you have a lot of data to transfer and 5 GB is not enough. So you can hardly transfer anything except for your contacts and your call logs or some of the messages. Except for the people who are using 50 GB or 100 GB of iCloud storage, but few of us are doing that. Most of the iPhone users are using 5 GB of iCloud storage and which is not enough to transfer everything. So that's why to transfer your data between iPhone to Samsung, the easiest way out, you can use smart dongle with your iPhone cable. And also anything wired will be more faster than wireless. So all you need to do is just insert the USB-C dongle and plug in your type A to lightning cable and connect to your iPhone. So once you're connected, you will get this pop-up. You can choose the smart switch application, click on just once or you can choose always. Now with the help of this cable, you can transfer everything. Click on transfer. But with this method, you can transfer your data from iPhone to Samsung, but not from Samsung to iPhone. To do so, there is another method. As you can see over here, these are all my iPhone applications. So I can choose all these applications or if I can skip some of them, depends on what exactly you're looking for. But if you want, you can skip some of them and choose your important applications. Regarding your application, it will give Android version of your iOS applications. So some of the iOS applications are not compatible. They will not be transferred. So now you can select what you want to transfer. You have call logs and contacts, your messages, all your applications, the data from your iPhone applications, settings, home screen, images, videos, audio files, and documents. Click on transfer. And it starts the transfer. I will just stop it because it was just for demo. And this is how you can transfer all your data from your iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy device by this amazing application called Smart Switch. To copy your data from an iPhone to iPhone was very easy. Samsung has come up a long way and I think they're doing amazing. 
Copying and pasting data between Galaxy devices or Samsung to Android or iPhone to Android has become more easy because of this amazing application and kudos to Samsung for doing this. So that's it guys. This is the simplest and easiest method to transfer all your data from your Samsung to Samsung, from your iPhone to Samsung or from your Samsung to an Android device. Samsung has really made it easy with the smart switch application and I'm sure other manufacturer like OnePlus or Google Pixel they have their own way to transfer data they are also good but this was quite convenient on a Samsung device if you like this video kindly hit a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family I will really appreciate that you can also click over here to see all my how-to video series where I have made several videos about different topics if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and do hit the thumbs up I will really really appreciate that see you soon in my next video till then goodbye peace and blessings I hope hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate that also click on the notification icon the bell icon so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos thank you for watching and see you in my next video till then goodbye